hello everyone i am anshu sharma your biology teacher and in this video tutorial we are going to discuss the sexual reproduction in one of the class of fungi the name of class is ascomycetes the sexual reproduction in ascomycetes is performed with the help of sexual spores and these sexual spores are called ascospores ascospores are produced in a sac like structure and that sac like structure is known as ascus and this is the reason because in this class of fungi the sexual spores are produced in a sac like structure the ascus that is why the class ascomycetes is also known as by the name sac fungi in the mycelium of ascomycetes these ascus are arranged to form different fruiting bodies and these fruiting bodies that bears ascus they are called ascocarps so in ascomycetes the fruiting bodies are ascocarp they consist of ascus and ascus are the sac like structure that produce the ascospores so we will discuss the sexual reproduction in ascomycetes with an example of penicillium notatum you know the uh, the fungus that used to produce the penicillin antibiotics in the mycelium of penicillium there are two kinds of hyphae the you can see the mycelium you can see the branched and septate hyphas are there in this mycelium there are two kinds of hyphae the positive strain hypha that is equivalent to the male strain or male sex in blue color and the negative strain hypha that is equivalent for the female strain or female sex so both kind of hyphae are present in the mycelium male hyphae and female hyphae in the reproduction season when the reproduction com uh, season comes on the negative strain hypha on the female hypha the female sex organ arise that female sex organ is called ascogonium and on the male strain hypha on the positive strain hypha the male reproductive organ arise that is called antheridium here you can see the structure of mycelium of fun, uh, mycelium of penicillin you can see the two strain hyphae are coiled with each other and you can see the proximity between these two sex organ in pink color here you can see the uh, ascogonium and in blue color you can see the antheridium so they develops in the proximity physical proximity ek dusre ke paas paas se develop hote hain after the development of the these two sex organs the antheridium get coils surround the ascogonium because these two sex organs are in physical proximity so in next step the antheridium coils around the ascogonium and after the coiling around the ascogonium the further steps that will be uh, take place i will show you in the separate diagrams kyunki is tarah ke diagram mein aage ke steps ko samajh pana पॉसिबल नहीं है तो हम एक सिंप्लीफाइड डायग्राम लेके चलेंगे जिसमें हम एस्कोगोनियम और एंथ्रीडियम को पास पास स्ट्रेट लाइन में दिखाएंगे आफ्टर द क्वालिंग ऑफ एस एंथ्रीडियम अराउंड द एस्कोगोनियम सो दिस काइंड ऑफ कॉन्टैक्ट बिटवीन दीज टू टाइप्स ऑफ सेक्स ऑर्गन अपियर्स आफ्टर द इन द सिंप्लीफाइड डायग्राम यू कैन सी द एंथ्रीडियम एंड एस्कोगोनियम्स आर पैरल विद ईच अदर इन बिटवीन वन ऑफ द चैम्बर ऑफ दीज टू सेक्स ऑर्गन द वॉल बिटवीन दैम गेट डिजॉल्व and after the dissolving of these two uh, these walls we get a common chamber with two nuclei one with one nuclei of male strain with one nuclei of negative strain and this is stage where a single chamber single cell is having the two nuclei this is stage can be considered as a dicaryon stage after the fusion of the wall we get a dicaryon stage a common chamber a cell with two nuclei on this common chamber on this uh, dicaryon stage a lateral hypha arise and this hypha is known as ascogenous hypha so here you can see a lateral hypha is arising that is the ascogenous hypha soon this ascogenous hypha converts into a hook like structure and here you can see the one nuclei of negative strain one nuclei of positive strain now each nuclei will undergo one mitotic division that means each nuclei will divide and result in the production of total number of four nuclei two of negative strain two of positive strain so now you here you can see after the mitotic division in the ascogenous hypha we get the four nuclei two of negative strain and two of the positive strain blue and pink in color after the formation of four nuclei in ascogenous hypha the partition develops and the partition develops in a manner in such a manner that the central compartment bears two nuclei one of negative strain and one of positive strain and another compartments bears the single nuclei one nuclei of positive strain and one nuclei of negative strain so we get a central compartment with the two nuclei one of positive strain and one of negative strain now soon these nuclei get fused and results in the production of the diploid zygote nuclei so after the fusion of these two nuclei of opposite strain we get a diploid 
zygote nuclei in the central compartment and now this zygote nuclei in the central compartment will undergo the first is the meiotic division and then the mitotic division so you can understand so here you can see the meiotic division in the diploid zygote nuclei results in the production of four haploid nuclei and now each haploid nuclei will undergo a single mitotic division so by the uh, single mitotic division in each haploid nuclei we get the total number of eight haploid nuclei in the central compartment now each nuclei gets surrounded by the cytoplasm and membrane and result in the production of a spore and these spores are called ascospores and now this central compartment is considered as the ascus so here you can see this central compartment is the ascus and it produces the total number of eight ascospores half of the ascospores are of positive strain blue in color and half of the ascospores are negative strain in pink color when this ascus get matured so ascospores get discharged and when the ascospores get discharged they develop into the mycelium the negative strain ascospore will uh, participate in the development of negative hy strain hyphae and the positive strain ascospore will participate in the development of positive strain hyphae so this is how the sexual reproduction takes place in the penicillium no notatum in the reproductive season on the respective hyphae the respective sex organ ascogonium on negative strain anthridium on the positive strain get developed soon the anthridium coils around the ascogonium this coiling results in the uh, physical proximity between these two types of sex organ this type of simplified diagram we can draw in between the two compartment of anthridium and ascogonium the wall between them get dissolved and that results in the production of dikaryon stage a single cell with two nuclei now on this central compartment on this fused dikaryon compartment a lateral hypha arise and this is known as ascogenous hypha the two nuclei the one of the positive strain one of the negative strain they get divided by the mitotic division result in the production of four nuclei two of negative strain two of the positive strain now this ascogenous hypha converts into hook like structure and result in the production of part compartmentization and partition is there partition happens in a such a manner that the central compartment contain two nuclei one of positive strain one of negative strain now these two nuclei get fused results in the production of diploid zygote nuclei and this diploid zygote nuclei undergoes the one meiotic and one mitotic division results in the production of eight nuclei each nuclei gets surrounded by the cell membrane and cytoplasm result in the production of ascospore 50% of ascospores are of positive strain 50% are of negative strain and this central compartment is now known as ascus when this ascus get ruptured result in the release of ascospores and these ascospores develop into the respective mycelium that is the uh, positive strain mycelia and negative strain mycelia thank you very much for watching the videos